Hi, my name is Steven. I'm a compiler engineer at Apple. Today, I'm going to talk about a new LVM-based tool called Tappy and how we use this tool to understand APIs and speed up the builds. First of all, what is Tappy? Tappy stands for Text-Based Application Programming Interface. It's a tool we wrote based on LVM and Clan. It can perform simple tasks like performing perform dynamic library stubbing, and it can also do something more advanced like generate linker interface directly from the headers. We used this tool to ensure the quality of our frameworks by verifying their APIs, and we also used this tool to speed up our builds. In practice, it actually saved hours of single OS build from our, uh, from our platform. But before we talk about all, all of that, first a little bit about history. If you look at Apple SDK, we ship TBD file. TBD stands for Text-Based Dynamic Library. It's a YAML format alter alternative linker interface for dynamic libraries, and we first started shipping in, in Xcode 7. Why do we use TBD files? Before TBD, the SDK actually contains stripped Markov binaries, which is basically the symbol table. But we also have universal Markov binaries. If you look at different slices of a single dynamic library, you can see they often share the same symbol table. But because of the limitation of the Markov Marco binary format, we have to keep both of the symbol table and duplicate the storage. And of course, we can do better. We can take both slices, feed it into LVM, use, use libobject to extract the symbol table, and serialize it into YAML text format. This is what the TBD file looks like. If you look at all the symbols in the TBD file, it appear exactly once, and it's being shared by multiple architectures. TBD file also makes something that's not very trivial before become really obvious now, is that this is a text file, it's not binary. It's a text file that declared the interface of a framework. And it sounds exactly like something we already have. That's the headers. If you look at the headers of a framework and the corresponding TBD file generated, you can see the only information from the headers are some information we pass to the linker. So if you take the he framework headers and with some linker flags, you should be able to generate TBD file directly. How do we do that? We use clan AST visitors. We visit all the clan deck codes in the framework headers, compute their linkage and visibilities, and then we can record the corresponding exported symbols. So now we have two different paths, one from header to the TBD file and one from the binaries to the TBD file. We can do something more advanced. For example, we can do API verification. Here, I add a new API to my framework, but some, I somehow forget to implement it. It's actually a common mistake because it might not create any bit new build errors or your regression test might also pass. But not when your user try to use, new, use your new API, they are gonna get a linker error. With Tappy, we can actually verify the interface clearing the headers with those you exported from the binary and make sure you didn't make any mistakes. So your user no longer get errors like this. We also use Tappy to speed up the builds. We actually speed up the builds by doing more work. How does that happen? If you look at a build of very large scale software like an OS, you often run into a situation like this, where framework B need to link against framework A, framework C need to link against framework B, and so on and so forth. We call such the longest dependency in the build the critical path. Everything along the critical path has to be built in sequential, so no, ma no matter how many cores or how many builders you have, the build time will now scale. With Tappy, we can generate the linker interface directly from the framework headers. In this example, I actually changed, we add a new, uh, we generate the TBD interface from framework B directly from the headers, and we reconfigure framework C to depending on TBD output rather than the binary output. Now framework B and framework C can be built in parallel. The gen TBD generation from header is actually running much faster than building the entire project, and it doesn't have any binary dependencies. With those in mind, you can actually do better. You can generate every single TBD file in, in the, in, on your OS in parallel. In this case, we break up all the dynamic dependencies and everything can be built in parallel. Of course, Tappy is open source. We're currently in the progress of contributing our implementation to the open, uh, to, to the OVM. You can see uh, the first RFC, which we posted a while back on the list. And also there's recently, there's another proposal to implement similar functionality for the L format as well. If you're interested, feel free to review our patches and come make your own comments. Thank you.